them and you start thinking about your own race the same way because growing up i used to think the same way about indians because of my own internalized racism when i got fired from a job i think i was 18 19 at the time um because of my race i didn't instead of getting angry at the system or the person that fired me what i right. did was it's all those other indians it's because they so i got fired because the boss said indians always steal things so instead of right. getting ang- angry at the boss i said like yeah it's because of all those indian guys who you know they went and stole they are the alcoholics they did all that and they ruined things for people like me as far as how long it has it went on i i would say like maybe 17 18 years maybe 19 even 20 years i would say but really badly for 17 years where everywhere i go like i would do all these things where you know even if i meet someone and i would be like oh you know i had a like i would bring up these things where it shouldn't matter technically right. i shouldn't care like i'll bring up things like oh you know i had a chinese girlfriend like why why am i saying this nobody asked <laughs> but you yeah, know yeah. but you know as someone who had experienced what i had experienced you know that subconsciously they change their minds about you when you reveal these kinds of information and then right. you become different so this went on for a very long time and what i realized the problem i i can't it's difficult to pinpoint when but i did you know i started to get more and more into social justice and history and politics and all that and so it was more of a process rather than a moment but throughout the years i realized that I, a lot of people they be, i become a contributing part of the problem if i don't change because what i realized is a lot of indians in malaysia who do this right because they were their parents slogged it out maybe their parents faced the the hardcore racism and so you know they they found like they found like economic growth blah 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 they made it and so they put you in private schools they put you in schools in the city and and all that and the world is completely different so once you do your whole you know i'm different blah 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 and now you're fit in you're one of them and you start thinking about your own race the same way because growing up i used to think the same way about indians because of my own internalized racism when i got fired from a job i think i was 18 19 at the time um because of my race i didn't instead of getting angry at the system or the person that fired me what i right. did was it's all those other indians it's because they so i got fired because the boss said indians always steal things so instead of right. getting ang- angry at the boss i said like yeah it's because of all those indian guys who you know they went and stole they are the alcoholics they did all that and they ruined things for people like me that yeah. used to be my mindset and so a lot of people they do that because once they are uh, in that position of privilege they forget like actually why you know like so yeah maybe 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 one or two indians did steal but it's not an indian thing it's probably they were poor and they didn't have money and they came from a different background and so you're not solving the root problem but nobody talks it's i i call it that the whole middle class bubble moderate you know that that whole moderates where we want the false peace like no it's like i like i'm not like that so like yeah. yeah they deserve to go to jail they deserve to be disrespected as long as you know it's the same thing where uh you know because in my bubble in, again like I, i touched on earlier by relates you know i grew up in a bubble although i faced a lot of racism within my bubble since primary school people were in interracial relationships and things like that those things weren't an issue and and all of that but the problem is people in my bubble like they don't know that the world is racist and all that because in this bubble it's not and so you right. just like nobody and and these are like the so called educated people with privilege have to be the ones that are making the most noise because you yeah. have the privilege and the time and the the space and the access to information and and all that but because we we even ourselves we are so blinded and we think that no you know like there's no racism is not a thing or whatever there's nothing wrong with the system and and all of that it doesn't exist it's just all these individuals creating havoc and we are in this peaceful peaceful bubble and that's really bad as well yeah so, so go ahead peter sorry yeah. um, i'm just wondering that today what do you think the the 
uh, the constituent parts of the dividing lines between like races or, or, or you know, these in-groups and out-groups are. To what extent do you think it's made up of uh, uh, class, like occupation stereotypes about what, what, what level of, of economic success different groups have? To what extent is it based on religion? Are you uh, uh, Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, uh, Christian, etc.? Uh, and what degree do you think it's simply based on visual cues, like darkness of skin tone, melanin? Like, what do you think the main kind of constituent of these dividing lines are today? I, th I think that's a very good question because I think economy uh, and stuff like that plays a difference. How much you earn, what jobs you have and all that. But I think the difference it, it, it plays is that once whatever skin color you are, once you attain a certain level of economic success, people just say you're different. So, but other than that, there are loads of stereotypes. Uh, like for example, um, melanin definitely is one of those things. So the darker you are, the people just have this assumption that, um, you know, you are of a certain kind, um, you are terrible and all that. So for example, I have a lot of um, friends, close friends of mine, Chinese, um, even Malays and all. And so they are like, for example, they don't, their parents all don't support um, interracial um, thing, but we are all fine, right? So we make jokes, but the jokes are, are, are true where I tell them, uh, so, I, so I'll just, we'll just make a joke about how, oh, if this Chinese girl, my friend brings home an Indian um, boyfriend, their parents are going to lose their minds, you know, like, why are you doing this, this, that? Because, you know, interracial, you can't, interracial is not good, you know, blah, blah, blah. They'll come up with all sorts of excuses, right? Even if they don't want to just, be out outward outright racist about it then i'll but then like i'll ask my friend but what what if you bring home a white white man then it's like oh i think my parents will be completely fine with that but isn't that interracial as well so you definitely have this whole dark skin thing where like if you're dark skin there's just nothing you know you're automatically you know bad but every, yeah, so, every, anything goes if you're white and, uh, and that sorry. brings us to the roots that brings us to the roots of where racism comes from. Eh? Racism was a, eh, last time we spoke to Dr. Asal Rad, she said the same thing. Racism is a system that was built to have one group of people on top and other groups of people below. So if anyone guides him or herself by racism, that inevitably, mean, inevitably means that white people are actually excluded from that whole uh, uh, from the negativity of that system because it was put in place during colonial times to put European whites on top. That is mm -hmm. racism. That is the yeah. whole system. You know what I mean? And you can have things about uh, when you have people say, okay, interreligious marriages, you cannot do that. There was a time and day and age that that was very important, still is. And and now, now we now also live in, day, in a day and age where interracial marriage, so-called, are, are very bad. But okay, where does racism come from? European colonialism. And what that, did that system do? Well, it structured hierarchies of people. So if people believe in that system, yeah, most likely they wouldn't have too much of a problem when somebody is a, is a, is a European, uh, European white person, yep. right? Exactly. 